Hold on to your calendars, because this Monday night is brewing up something extra special. But before we get to the big reveal, there's a twist I've got insider info that someone out there misses you like crazy. We're talking deep in the heart, can't get you off their mind kind of missing. The air is thick with anticipation, and you won't believe what's in store. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions, because this story is about to take a turn you won't want to miss. If you're watching this video today, your guardian angels have an important message for you. They want you to know that you are deeply loved, and they are guiding you with their divine energy. So, open your heart and soul to receive this message of love and guidance from the higher realms. Type 1111 to claim it. As you go about your day, remember that you are not alone. Your guardian angels are with you every step of the way, showering you with love and light. Take a moment to connect with their presence and feel the warmth that surrounds you. Now, let's dive into the specific message that the Divine has for you today. Someone out there really misses you a lot, and your angels want you to be aware of the powerful energy surrounding Monday night. There's a hint of something special in the air, a moment of magic waiting to unfold. Imagine this, you're standing on the threshold of a new week, and the universe is conspiring to bring something extraordinary into your life. Your angels want you to be open and receptive to the unexpected blessings that Monday night might hold for you. It could be a surprise visit, a heartwarming message, or a serendipitous encounter that leaves you smiling. Type 222 if you believe. As we embark on this journey of love and guidance, let's explore the ways in which you can harness the positive energy around you. Your angels encourage you to embrace gratitude, for it is the key that unlocks the door to abundance. Take a moment right now to reflect on the things you are grateful for in your life. Whether big or small, acknowledge the blessings that surround you. Expressing gratitude not only attracts more positivity into your life but also strengthens the connection with your guardian angels. They thrive on the energy of love and appreciation, and when you express gratitude, you align yourself with the divine flow of the universe. Now, let's talk about the person who misses you dearly. Whether it's a friend, a family member, or someone special, their thoughts and emotions are reaching out to you. Your angels want you to take a moment to send love and positive energy back to this person. Visualize a warm and loving connection between both of you, transcending any physical distance. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. Remember, your thoughts are powerful, and the energy you send out into the universe has a way of coming back to you. By sending love to someone who misses you, you create a harmonious flow of energy that benefits both of you. It's a beautiful exchange that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Now, let's focus on the anticipation of Monday night. Your angels want you to approach it with an open heart and a sense of excitement. Release any expectations or preconceived notions, and allow the universe to surprise you. This could be the perfect time for a reunion, a breakthrough, or a manifestation of your deepest desires. Type 777 if you already believe. As you go about your day, carry this sense of anticipation with you. Picture Monday night as a canvas waiting to be painted with beautiful moments. Your angels are orchestrating the cosmic symphony of your life, and Monday night holds a special melody that is meant to resonate with your heart. In the realm of divine guidance, it's essential to trust the process and have faith in the unseen forces working on your behalf. Your angels want you to know that they are aligning the stars in your favor, creating a path of synchronicity and serendipity. All you need to do is trust, believe, and open your heart to receive the blessings that are coming your way. Take a deep breath and feel the love that surrounds you. Your angels are wrapping you in their wings of light, offering comfort and reassurance. You are a cherished soul on a journey of growth and expansion, 
and the universe is conspiring to make every step of your journey magical. Type 333 if you trust angels. Now, let's shift our focus to the live interaction. If you're watching this video, share your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. Let this space be a virtual gathering of souls, connected by the common thread of divine love and guidance. If you resonate with the message, let us know. If you have a story to share or if you're eagerly awaiting Monday night, feel free to express yourself. This is not just a message, it's a conversation between kindred spirits. Your angels are present in this moment, reading your comments and sending waves of love in response. So, let the comments section come alive with the energy of connection and shared experiences. As we wrap up this divine message of love and guidance, remember that you are a beacon of light in the world. Your presence is significant, and your journey is intertwined with the cosmic dance of the universe. Trust the process, embrace the love that surrounds you, and be open to the magic that awaits you on Monday night. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. Thank you for joining in this sacred conversation. May your days be filled with love, and may the angels continue to guide you on your beautiful journey. Until we meet again, stay open, stay blessed, and let the magic unfold. Show your support by giving super thanks up to $20. Type 444 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video, where you'll hear it. How long, oh Lord? How long, have you ever asked that question? Have you ever been there? You know what it's like to ask that question, you're asking some version of it now. Divine is familiar with the waiting you have to deal with another round of resumes to send out, or another round of chemo, another negative on another pregnancy test, another underwhelming first date, another specialist, another grey winter day, another shift at the same old job, or another afternoon staring at the four walls of a prison cell, just waiting for the night to come. How can this be? Here comes your answer, the best style of prayer is that which cannot be called anything else but a cry. You all ever prayed those kinds of prayers? God, if you don't show up, I got nothing in the tank. I don't think I'm going to make it without you. David was a man after his own heart, and he laid it out to the Lord exactly the way he felt. He said, if you don't help me, I may die. Psalm chapter 13 says, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul, and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider, and answer me. O Lord my God, light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say I have prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. You'll notice that it begins with a voice of desperation. David begins this psalm by saying, How long, O Lord? He says, How long, O Lord? Will you forget me forever? David feels forgotten by the Lord. How long is this going to keep going? Now here's a question you always have to ask ourselves. Was David forgotten by the Lord? No, he was not forgotten by the Lord. But did he feel forgotten by the Lord? Yeah, he did. And David wasn't afraid to communicate that to the Lord. This is the way I feel. He isn't necessarily saying that this is the situation, but he feels forgotten. He feels like the Lord has hidden his face. And David, furthermore, feels like it's been going on forever, which elicits that question, how long? God cannot forget his children. He said so. Let me show you Isaiah chapter 49. He says, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast, and have no compassion on the child she is born? And then he goes on to say, Though she may forget, in other words, in some extreme and extraordinary circumstances, although she may forget, yet he says, I will not forget you. God knows where you are. The very hairs of your head are numbered. Now keeping in mind how David started this psalm, 
and you saw how desperate it was. How long? O oh Lord! Will you forget me forever? Check out these last couple of verses. But I have trusted. Notice that's past tense, as David begins to speak now, here toward the end of this very short psalm. He says, But I have trusted in your steadfast love. And it's kind of as if David is saying, You know, I've trusted you in the past, and there's no reason for me to stop trusting you now. I've trusted in your steadfast love. So what's his conclusion? My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. Look at this turnaround. My heart will rejoice. But if my eyes are on the Lord, there's always a reason to rejoice. And that's what we're told, rejoice in the Lord. And so David is looking back on his past, and he's saying God's been faithful. You know, that doesn't mean there haven't been rough spots. But God brought me through. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Today, there's many of you who have been living in verse 1 for far too long. You've been saying, how long? A whole bunch. But you haven't been saying, I will trust, and I will sing, and I will rejoice to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. Just want to encourage you. I know the wilderness is a long way. The wilderness is hard. I'm just telling you, the Lord has great plans on the other side. I have a thousand reasons to sing his praises, and I look back on my timeline and say, look how God has been faithful. Look how God has been true, and I trust you. And I'm looking to you for help in the middle of this and find yourself rejoicing with a new song in your heart. If somebody wants to walk out of your life, let them go. It's all right. Sit around, be depressed for a minute, cry about it, do whatever you have to, but don't stay there too long. Get up and go on with your life, especially if you know you've done everything you can do. You've sat around and been the best you could be, and they still want to go. Let them go. Whatever they're running after, they'll see what they had in a minute, but by then, it's going to be too late. Cause half these people you've been sitting around crying about and worried about two, three years from now, you aren't going to even remember their last name. Let folks go, child. Some people come into your life for a lifetime, some come for a season. You've got to know which is which. No matter how much it hurts, let them go and it'll get easy, I promise you. Every day, it'll get easier and easier and easier, but you just got to make it through. Don't worry about those outcast people. I've heard conversations you couldn't hear, I saw things you didn't see. You can either have success or revenge, but you can't have both. Have you ever been left? If you are not careful, you will undervalue who stayed, trying to get back who left. Because sometimes, there's nothing really crazy about being dependable, about being stable, about hanging in there, about being by your side. If you're not careful, you will neglect the people that stayed with you. The principle is profound and provocative, that you need to focus on what you've got left, the child that stayed, the friend who stuck. The real test of a relationship isn't when it's easy, it's when it's hard. My cherished child, hear these words as a whisper of love from the depths of eternity. Today, I implore you to strengthen what remains within you. Let this be the final day of shedding tears over those who chose a different path. Release them and invest only in those committed to walking alongside you for the rest of your journey. These are the souls that require your nurturing, not to be neglected or taken for granted. Too often, humans fixate on what has slipped away, chasing ghosts of the past. I urge you to consider the years that lie ahead. Will you spend them murmuring about bygones or shape a destiny that surpasses what was lost? Your happiness is within your grasp. Do not relinquish it to the hands of others. No one can steal your joy unless you willingly surrender it. Remain in peace, for time is fleeting. Let go of the bitterness that clings to your spirit. Bitterness ages the soul, turning it into a vessel of resentment. Choose to release the shackles of grudges, for in doing so, you birth a new legacy. Regardless of the pain you've endured, understand your immeasurable worth in the eyes of the divine. Reclaim your identity and self-worth. You are not a nobody, you are a cherished child of the king, with a seat at the royal table. I speak to you today, urging you to leave it all to me. Trust in my divine plan. I will bring the right people into your life. Surrender the need to control, for I orchestrate the opening and closing of doors. Embrace the necessary endings, for they pave the way for greater things ahead. 
A change in season is not a conclusion, but a prelude to new blossoms. Some souls are scaffolding, present for a season to aid in your growth. Yet when their purpose is fulfilled, they must gracefully exit the stage. Do not grieve those who walked away. Your future is intertwined with those who stayed. This lesson is a reminder that your destiny is not hindered by departures, but elevated by those who remain. Beloved, look forward with anticipation. For this day marks the birth of new victories, fresh opportunities, and profound relationships. Refrain from dwelling in what was and step boldly into what is. Freedom, new beginnings, joy, peace, and victory await you. Cease crying over yesterday's sorrows. Let regrets dissipate. It is time to drop the burdens and move forward, for in doing so, you embrace the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, today you radiate with joy and happiness, and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign, that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, and forever shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I established the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence. You were formed from dust, and one day your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant, and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday, today, and for all eternity, my mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand so you may reach the long-desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend, so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot a tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents, halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you 
remind you that no matter what happens, you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear. When problems arise, that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms, and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity, and wisdom, and you are at the highest, where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains, and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you, but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies. And even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always. I have safeguarded your family from dire situations and will continue to protect them. But I want you and your entire household to seek me, believe in my word, and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something, a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Don't seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad. And believe me, when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot. You have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you. I care for you. I prepare you and I correct you. If you fall, you rise. If you make mistakes, you confess. And I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults. Receive my forgiveness and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt that you have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. 
Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl. Stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one, my plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you. Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify, praise, and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision, and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn, and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step, and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. You are cherished, guided, and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you, and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing, or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you, but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone. Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread. Put your effort into working, serving and being a blessing to those around you, your family and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray. Seek me relentlessly. 
I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.